OK, let's start with an experiment. We've had lots of talks about experimentation over the course of the last couple of days. This one's a thought experiment. In fact, it's an ancient Buddhist thought experiment I'd all like you to take part in for today. So we've got a goose, and we've got a bottle. In fact, we've got a baby goose. It's a gosling. We put the baby gosling into the bottle. We pull its little neck out through the head of the bottle. Don't worry, it's just a thought experiment. No geese are harmed in this. You take the goose's head, you pull it out through the bottle, and over the course of the next three months, you feed that little goose, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger inside the bottle. And before you know it, you can't get the goose out of the bottle. What do you do? There are two rules in this thought experiment. Your job is to get that goose out unharmed. Number one, you can't hurt the goose. And number two, you can't break the bottle. What do you do? How do you get the goose out of that bottle? Okay. I hear answers to this like, well, maybe we could melt the bottle, put it under the fire. Okay. The goose is going to, what's going to happen if we do that? Well, you're going to hurt the goose. The bottle's going to break. What about starving that poor goose? Well, you can't do that because, again, its rib cage is so big you can't get it out. What do you do? How about slowly slicing the bottle to try and get the goose out? Well, no, that's not going to work because you're going to probably harm that goose. Hurry up. This poor goose is stuck in this bottle. What are you going to do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to break the fucking bottle to get that poor goose out of there.